Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody, and welcome back to INE's Data Center Advanced Technology Series. In today's sessions, we're going to be starting our next major topic domain, which is the Unified Computing System, or UCS. And specifically, first, we're going to talk about uh, just a high-level overview of what are the different components of the system, uh, what are the blade servers, what are the standalone rack mount servers, the B series versus the C series, how do the fabric interconnects work, how do the I.O. modules work, and then the individual components of the, uh, the blade servers. Uh, we'll then look at the basic uh, system initial initialization of the fabric interconnects. So how do we get access to the, uh, the management interface, either from the CLI or from the, uh, the web interface from the APIs. Uh, we'll then talk about the UCS Manager, which is going to be our main uh, GUI interface into the system. We'll also talk about the command line interface and some of the verifications that we can do uh, from the CLI in addition to the GUI. Uh, and then how we can make changes if we want to configure the system from the CLI as opposed to the web interface. Uh, we'll then uh, mainly be focusing on three main portions of the system, which are going to be LAN connectivity, SAN connectivity for storage, and then finally the service profiles, the different pools and policies, which are kind of all the nerd knobs that uh, exist in the, uh, the system overall. So for this uh, section of the course, we're going to have two different topologies, the first of which is going to be the B-series blade chassis. So we have a... Uh, a UCS uh, 5108 blade series chassis that's connected to multiple UCS uh, fabric interconnects. The fabric interconnects then connect to Nexus 5000 switches, uh, specifically 5672 uh, Gen 3 switches, both with native fiber channel ports and Ethernet ports. So in terms of the storage connectivity, like we talked about in our previous uh, SAN section, the UCS supports native fiber channel. It supports fiber channel over Ethernet. It also supports iSCSI. Uh, so we'll be talking in more detail about those uh, specific variations of how that affects the actual uh, service profiles and the servers. And then the second portion of the topology is going to be the standalone C-series rack mount servers, which are going to be connected to fabric interconnects. In our case, we have Gen 2 fabric interconnects, the, uh, the 2200 series, that are then uh, dual home to the Nexus 5000 switches. And then we'll be looking at those in the, both from a LAN connectivity, a SAN connectivity point of view, and then also how to manage the system from the Cisco Integrated Management Controller, or the SIMC, which is uh, essentially the UCS manager equivalent of the, uh, the standalone uh, rack mount servers. So in addition to the videos that we're going through here, I just wanted to uh, mention some recommended resources that you can take a look at in addition to this class. Uh, there's a couple books here on the list uh, the first of which is the Cisco Press Book 4 UCS. Um, it's a little bit older now. It was written back in 2010. So in terms of the hardware components, uh, they're talking about the, the Generation 1 uh, models of the system. But the, generation, uh, the general logic of the system hasn't changed between the three gens of, of hardware revisions that it's gone through. Uh, so it's good for uh, some background information about just what the system is, what are the components. But in terms of the... Uh, the actual configurations, you'll see that it's a little bit different than uh, what we'll see on the GUI when we connect to the UCS uh, manager today. Uh, there's uh, some Cisco uh, vendor independent books, or I should say uh, non-Cisco press books, because UCS is uh, Cisco specific. Uh, the last one, they're implementing Cisco UCS solutions, and then a couple other two that are on, on Nexus and then just uh, data center design in general. Uh, beyond this, uh, the best resource in the documentation is going to be the, the UCS Technology Design Guide. That's part of the Cisco Validated Designs, or the CVDs. So if you were to start at uh, cisco.com slash go slash CVD for Cisco Validated Designs, this is going to be down under uh, Data Center Networking, and then under Cisco Validated Designs, and then the UCS technology uh, design guide. So we're going to be coming back through this in, in more detail later as we go through the individual components and, and look at how to build the system. But you could pretty much use this as an end-to-end -end blueprint about w what are the components of the system, how do they fit together, and then specifically the implementation. How do we configure the LAN uh, side to connect to the UCS? How do we configure the UCS to connect to the LAN? How do we configure the storage networking? And then finally, how do we configure the UCS service profiles the different pools and policies that are actually going to be associated uh, to the servers that are, that are ultimately running our uh, operating system. 
Then last but not least, we have a, a Cisco Live presentation that is the UCS Networking Deep Dive, which is uh, session BRKCOM 2003. Uh, so I would definitely recommend uh, to take a look at that session as well. It goes into more details behind the scenes in terms of uh, the architecture of the actual blades. What are the different generations of the adapters? What are the different generations of the chipsets and, and, and so on and so forth? And then how in detail do the blades connect to uh, the LAN portion of the system? How do they connect to the storage portion of the system? And a, a lot of these details we are going to be going through as, as we start to get deeper into uh, the GUI implementation and then also the CLI implementation. Uh, but definitely a good resource that I would recommend to, uh, to take a look at there uh, for the system overall. Okay, so before we get started on technical detail, does anybody have any questions about just the general scope of what we're going to be covering in this section of the course? Yes. 